everyone, Giorno Agents, and welcome to episode 7 of my Feed the Beast Unleashed. Last time we were t uh, messing around with some like uh, tools and making them really cool. Um, in a funny sort of way, this mod is a little bit overpowered, so I won't be going too mad with it. But um, I've got my book to tier 2. So what I can do with that is if I can find some 4 sticks. By the way, I traded a lot of my wood logs for the equal amount of 4 sticks just to let you know. Um, also, where's my uh, force shards, uh, force ingots? And what I want to do is I want to make a pickaxe better than the ones I've already made. So we're going to make the force pickaxe, as you would. Um, this one's got heat, which melts it and kind of smelts it, and it's a little bit faster. Same with that one, so when these run out. But I want to make a better one. So what we're going to need is we're going to need some coal. Um, we're going to need maybe some sugar to make it a little bit faster and we're going to need a flint if I can remember where it was I think there's some flint around here somewhere oh, i got some flint I'm sure of it ah there we go and some flint which gives you the grinding which doubles the uh, the, the drops of the ores so let's let's cook this one up put that in there so now as you can see tier 2 we've got 3 slots available to us so I'm going to make it faster and I'm going to put grinding in and I've turned the engine off for now because we've got all this power in here and we don't really need any more so we're just wasting the force down there as you can see I'm cooking up a nice new pickaxe so if I get some ore ready do a couple okay and then we get this one as you can see it's heat pickaxe with grinding and speed one so what this is going to do is rather than us get the block back we're going to get the ingot back and we're going to get two of them watch oh yeah oh yeah that's how we mine that's how we really roll so yeah that's that's one of the perks i still need to experiment off camera um but i do know that that's one cool tier two perk but as tier when you get to like tier five you can make like magic rods which make you teleport back to your home, almost like uh, Technic 7 when you had the, uh, was it the chi the crystal wing? That's it, the crystal wing. Um, I don't think I've got much chest. I need to sort these out off camera very urgently. But today, what I'm going to do is uh, concentrate a bit more on power. So what I want to do is I want to make a geothermal generator. Okay, so let's see what we need for that. So we're going to need some empty cells, a generator to begin with, and uh, yeah, some glass and all that. Empty cells is just tin. I think I can manage that. I think I've got enough. I've done enough mining and exploration now um, to kind of afford this. Now we need refined iron as well. And for those of you who don't know, all you got to do to get refined iron is just we just cook the lot. Just recook some iron, and that will turn into refined iron. So what we need to do is make sure we got the glass. I don't know how many glass there was. Four, just the right amount. And for the the tricky part is the generator. And we're going to need either a furnace. I don't know if I got a furnace spare lying around. I think I, yeah, I've got a furnace. I'm going to need a furnace, uh, a battery, and a machine block, which is just some refined iron. So let me grab some of the parts and save you guys watching some boring mundane stuff. So you. It's pretty self-explanatory. Use your NEI if you don't know, and just press the letter R for Roger, <laughs> and then um, you can you can see how things uh, are used. Okay, and if you want to know how to make refined iron, press U, the the letter U for Unleashed, and then eventually it'll tell you all the uses and how to go about using say refined iron in this case there's a lot of uses for refined iron but I'll be right back once I've got all the ingredients for the geothermal generator okay it looks like I forgot to show you guys how to make a battery so let's go to the generator and you need an RE battery so let's press R on this can we you let's see what happens no it doesn't really I, I can tell you to make one anyway for those that don't know now batteries you get from the the rubber trees with the little dots on um, they're always quite distinct because at the top they've got two little bits of uh, foliage on top and then you right click with a tree tap which I don't have on me right now so let's type in tree tap quick 
I know a lot of you know this already because you you played this mod, these mods for, for like ever. But for those of you who are new to Unleashed, that's how you make one. Okay, so I'm going to make a, uh, the batteries and stuff like that. And you make the copper wire uh, with rubber. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cook a load of it now. And I'll be right back. With the all the rubber, all this, all the resin cooked up into rubber through the furnaces and all the copper ingots ready. I've got and should have enough copper cables for now, I think. But I will make some off camera and continue my uh, continue my crafting. I'm going to need some redstone as well. I'm going to simply do this for those that don't know. You go straight down the middle like that. You're going to get tin, four tin, and then a little little thing on top. Doesn't have to be charged. There we go, and then what we do is do that, that, and that. That gives us our normal generator. So now all we've got to do is keep these four bits of glass. I'm going to need some more tin, which I'm going to cook up very, very shortly. If I've got it, there it is, tin ore. I'm going to literally grind it first. And uh, yeah, be right back. With the tin all cooked up and uh, pulverized, all, uh, well, not necessarily in that order, we've got some empty cells. You get quite a lot as well. So I think we've got enough to uh, craft us some a geothermal generator. Now if we turn around here off camera I've built myself a little shed. Let's have a look. We've got a little chimney that doesn't do anything. But this this shed's sole purpose, it may not be it may not be there forever, but for now it's a temporary little power source. We're gonna use this to uh, macerate stuff and uh, yeah, do all our little goodies with. So what I'm gonna do this has got um, automatic crafting benches so um, all you do is put four wooden cogs around a normal workbench and you get these and the beauty about these is when you put stuff in you can do this, this and then you go this, this oh don't need that one and this left uh, click to craft okay it's changed slightly I don't know why it's changed but when you leave it it doesn't fall on the ground like a normal workbench so we left click Oh wow, it's got to take time now. Okay, they've changed that. So yeah, that's that's how these work. They, they don't actually, the ingredients don't fall out. So you're pretty much good. There you go, there's our geothermal generator. And what we want to do is we want to... Um, hmm. I'm wondering if we can go like that. So what I want to do is I want to connect some machines directly adjacent to this so we can get one two three four, maybe four machines might even run some pipes around the back I'm not sure yet um, but yeah um, that will do for now and then what we're going to do is we're going to make um, a macerators in here and some other things some other good stuff that uses power but this needs power this needs lava now we can go manually getting it but um, there's something I want to build and I'm not sure if I've got the ingredients to build it. So let me go and check and I'll be right back. Now, the long term goal is to. Um, let me get my sword, uh, the pickaxe. I want this one as well. My long term goal is to um, get power from the nether, like last time on my last map, but a little bit different. This time around, I'm going to make it hopefully a little bit more simpler. Than it was before. Oh, look at my fire aspect sword. That's so cool. So I've got my pickaxe with the grinding and speed one, but we don't need that one. We just need this one. Now, what this one does, this will heat up the. Um... Oh, okay. okay. We're going to need this one. We're going to need to grind it. So stone that grinds into stone in these mod packs grind into um, sand, and sand will cook into glass. So when we mine stone, we get glass back. I need a lot of this for now, so I can make some tanks. Because what I want to do is I, I've got some gravel out of that. So we just mine some of this, like so. I think that would be enough. Because I want to make a pump. And those of you who don't know, uh, pumps are relatively cheap. Um, so I'm going to get these ingredients together. We're going to need an iron gear. Gonna need some iron ingots, a redstone, and an iron pickaxe to make the mining well. And then what we gotta do is make the tank, which is simply some glass, which is what we're doing now. So let me go and grip, grip, see if I got the ingredients uh, for the actual um, mining well itself to turn it into a pump, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. 
Okay, rather than use the long-winded uh, grinder that I've got in there where I have to constantly turn the handle, I'm going to use my new pickaxe and just plonk a load of iron down, like so. Oh yeah, this feels good. So we're going to do this, and this should be enough iron to uh, fulfill our pump. Easy. So what this is going to do, like I showed you before, it's going to give us two ingots rather than the actual ore itself because it's going to melt it, cook it, double it. What? What's that? Oh, we got some ferrous out of that. That's good because that stuff's quite rare. So we're going to keep doing this. As you can see, we are getting loads and loads and loads of ingots. Oh, yeah. So why macerate when you can just do this? Save yourself... You're basically saving fuel as well. The only thing is, the durability of this is going down. So in theory, you still lose out. But these pickaxes are relatively cheap once you find the force gems. Okay, let's grab all of our stuff. There you go. We've got just over a stack. So let's go and make and get the ingredients together to the uh, mining well. Okay, so we've got most of the other bits. But what we need is going to make an iron gear. Now, we've made wooden gears before, and we've also made stone gears by surrounding the wood gear with cobble. But, you go almost, imagine it like vanilla tools, the, 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 how it upgrades. So, go to stone, and all you do is just surround it with ink, iron, and if you want to go to gold, surround it with gold, diamonds for diamonds. You got the idea. Okay, so now we've got an iron gear. So, we are pretty much set. So what we want to do now is make also a tank, like so, and let's go to our shed, our little power shed. I've also like kind of pushed these blocks back a little bit because I found it was a bit too cramped in here. Um, it may look, look a bit weird at the back, but we won't go around the back a drastic amount. So we're going to get our, I think the pickaxe goes there, right? No, at the bottom. So the pickaxe goes at the bottom. Why won't you let me do it? Okay, we're going to use another automatic workbench then. They've changed. I don't like it. Okay, let's try this one then. So, here we go. Bottom. Iron gear. Redstone at the top. Some iron. There we go. Grab the mining well. And then... Oh, wrong, wrong bit. Got to put the tank on top. There we go. Now what we need to do is power this bad boy because what we're going to do eventually is go to the nether. So what we're going to need is we're going to need some redstone. Redstone. Oh, we just type in engines. Engines. Let's get some redstone engines. Where are you? Redstone. Redstone. There we go. So we're going to need. I think we're going to need four pistons. Loads of these. Loads of these. So I'm going to go back off camera. Saves you watching. But that's the recipe and uh, I'm going to craft four of these. With the uh, pump in place with my redstone engines I'm going to have to make one of these new ender tanks. I've not made one of these before. We need some wool, we need some obsidian, a cauldron, which I can't remember how to craft, that's how we do it. Oh, let's get back up again. And we're going to need an ender pearl. I have one ender pearl. I've got four blaze rods. Uh, my ender pearl is there. We need a cauldron, not a problem, when I can find my iron. Really need to sort these chests out, because man, I'm so untidy. So, I'm going to make a cauldron quick. We're going to actually need to make two of these. So I might as well make two. So we're going to need another ender pearl, but not a problem. I've got a little, little bit of an idea with that. Um, the only thing we're going to struggle off is later on this, because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to filter lava constantly from the nether. Um, but we're going to run into a little bit of a problem because I've only got, where is it, one diamond. But there's two ways we can get around this. Um, so what we're going to do is we need two bits of obsidian, which we just have, not a problem. But we can craft some obsidian, not a problem. Or we can even get it through the power of the mods. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the crafting bench in the shed. I'm going to go into the power shed and then we're going to craft this. So we're going to need to go one, two, three, four. I think there and there. Is that right? Yep. Cauldron's in the middle. End pile at the bottom. And what was it at the top? A bit of wool. 
So let's go and see if we've got a bit of wool. We should have a bit of wool. That's one thing we don't have on our farm, sheep. Oh, we have, well, we've only got pig, uh, cows. Uh, wool, wool. Have we got any string? Come on, we've always got string. Okay, there we go, just enough. We have got a cotton. Well, I know you guys are probably screaming at me, Divs, you've got, you got a cotton farm over there. Surely you got some string. Yes, I have. Um, okay, so we're going to put that in there. We're going to get ourselves an ender tank. Oh, yeah, that's how we roll. So, I'm not sure why it has to do this. Maybe they've upgraded and made some more or something. So, ender tank. So what we're going to do with this ender tank, I'm hoping this is going to work. So what we're going to do is go around the back and carve out the middle. Take some XP berries and get hurt at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this look really untidy. And then I'm just going to plonk one there. Okay, around the back. This is where our power is. Hopefully that's going to work. This is trial and error for me. This is quite new, but it's also relatively easy if I'm, I'm hoping compared to the last setup we had so once we get this set up uh, the never is going to teleport the lava through the ender tanks and then start filling the geothermals and um, what I'm going to do is the north east south and west sides of this is going to be uh, machines that I definitely need maybe some um, I don't know uh, iron furnaces in the corners or something but we'll see so yeah, that's pretty much that. So let's quickly, I'm just going to quickly check the time because I feel like this episode is starting to drag now. And um, yeah, I'll be right back. And by checking the time, guys, yeah, I am right. We have running over the mark now, my 15 minute mark. I might start making some of these a little bit longer, but uh, get in the comments if you'd like it a little bit longer on some episodes, um, should I need to finish something. Um, so guys, thanks for watching. This has been episode 7. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe. And I hopefully will see you in episode 8. Take it easy.